Megan Archer here from Cycle Cross Magazine. We're with Ellen Noble, who just got second today at the <clears throat> World Championships. So how does that feel? It feels amazing. I'm not sure it's even really sunk in yet because we've been so busy since the finish, but I'm, I'm so happy, um, even more so than my placing, just having ridden such a great race is yeah. so exciting for me. I feel like I really kind of had a breakthrough ride today. Yeah, you had a fabulous start. <laughs> um, the one thing I did notice today is that no matter what happened, you just kept your head in the game and yeah. <laughs> exhibited some, some serious maturity. What was uh, the you. beginning, you know, to the end like for you lap to lap? Because that course changed a lot. Yeah, the course did change a lot. I think that was like kind of the hard part today was deciding whether or not to change your lines as the course changed. Um, because really all it did was make like the main lines more rideable, but my lines remained safe all the way through. So I mostly kept on the lines that I had been riding and yeah, maybe it cost me a second here or there, but I was really safe and that was the biggest thing for me is I never made a mistake and that's why I was able to say super consistent was because I never, <clears throat> I never crashed and I never even really bobbled. So yeah, I think, I think that like was really how I was able to stay. I was like kind of dangling off the lead too, but I was right there when Evie, who was third, um, when she made a mistake. So yeah, I really tried to just keep the pressure on and ne never ever give up. Sure, sure. Um, there was a moment I saw uh, where you kind of backed off. You, you were burning some matches and when you took the lead, um, and then I saw, you know, you back off and kind of regroup. What was going through your mind at that point? Uh, I backed off when I was in the lead. No, like after you, um, after you, um, after you took the lead and then, mm -hmm. and then they caught, caught you back and you kind of, oh, like, after, oh. so after Anne Marie caught me, yes. um, I didn't really back off so much. I really did keep the pressure on, but I was completely maxed out. Um, especially the first part of the course is so much more physically challenging, whereas the second part is a lot a lot more technical so the first part I, I just burnt so many matches to try to give it everything to maintain the lead but unfortunately like by the time I got to the technical parts I was dizzy so I knew I would have to slow up or like really suffer the consequences right right yeah um so one last question so from the beginning of the season and into the end what do you feel like you've improved on the most and what are you looking forward to um taking this to the next level next year uh well over the off season or like during the summer, I really improved my fitness immensely, which has been huge. And I think it's shown in my racing, but over the course of the season, it's really been a lot about mental. So I've been, you know, a lot more focused in my racing and trying to just be a lot more confident and understanding like, yeah, I could, I could get on the podium today. That was a huge thing to just be able to admit that and like let myself race to my fullest potential and understanding what I can do. So going forward, I want to keep getting stronger and with getting stronger, I really, really want to work on the confidence that comes with it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's see that medal. All right. Thanks so much, Ellen. Thank awesome you. job today. Thanks.